Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nebula. Now, I normally don't do videos normally when it comes to me being angry about something or irritated or something that's completely upset me to the point to where I have to vent. But it happens. We have these rant videos and everything like that. But I'm going to try to be as civil as I can. Okay, now I'm gonna I want to anger a lot of people on this, but it's got to be said because otherwise, if we didn't have anger, you know, life would be boring and stuff like that. But anyone who thinks that a burn deck is skilled are idiots. Burn decks are not skilled; they are luck based. There is no way in hell that any burn deck I have ever faced was ever skillful. It is pretty much luck based. Chain burn is the greatest example of this. The uh, trick stars are one of the new um, examples of this here. But I understand that someone said to me yesterday in the chat that burn decks are skillful. And I know he did in a joke, but that just set me off. And I am normally very, um, very calm, try to be for the most part. I do have my moments, but I try to be very calm and try to be understanding about people's viewpoints. Regardless of it being a joke, I'm going to take the matter seriously. No, no burn decks are not skilled. There is not once a house of skill. All you gotta do is read those stupid cards, understand what they do, and hope to God that you draw into them. Burn or chain burn was the biggest example of this. I said back, I said five back rows. Pray to God that one of those back rows is a freaking uh, magical cylinder, so it doesn't, so your attack power doesn't kill me. And then I'm going to activate secret power behind the door. I'm going to activate um, God, what else? Chain burn on link four and in, uh, fortune, <coughs> fortune something. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've dealt with Chain Burn because Chain Burn is garbage. Pretty much any burn deck is garbage. And it's not a skillful deck. What it is, is a cheap deck that can get you cheap wins. There is no long term investment in it. You do not benefit from knowledge of anything because. The principal idea of a burn deck is that you're going to burn your opponent regardless of what strategy they might have. It is hope to God that they don't have a Jinzo on you, though. Now, Trick Stars are the new burn deck. They are what I call the Chain Burn 3.0. And I blame Konami, mostly coming up Konami Japan on this, because apparently Konami Japan has had a lot of drinks, a lot of cams, most likely meth and everything like that, and they just don't get the understanding that burn decks are generally bad for any game. Especially, you know, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is probably the worst game to have a burn deck. Because it is one of those type of things that turns it into Monopoly. And no one wants to be at the end result of Monopoly because that usually involves uh, broken friendships and hateful robbery and, f and family. So, yeah. But, I want to say to be fair, but there is no to be fair to be found in a burn deck. Burn decks are pretty much laziness. Laziness and no planning involved. And people are going to like, well, you have to buy everything. Like, yeah, but the burn decks that you can buy, at least chain burn, was under $60. I understand that um, Trick Stars right now, at least there's only one card, and that's that stupid trap card that they have that banishes your opponent's hand, um, that allows them to draw new cards and everything like that. It's like $30 to $40 at the moment, give or take. But that's pre-sale, that doesn't matter. We'll see what happens when the massive majority of them are out. But I've never seen a burn deck 
deck in my life that was ever skillful. I've seen a bunch of luck deck, uh, luck involved in interfering like that, but there's never been like, oh, I had the perfect strategy because I couldn't get out of the scenario and just set five cards on end. That is not skillful. That is pretty much you drew into the cards that you needed at that time. Skillful is like, well, I'm facing a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, two Blue Eyes Alternatives, and I don't have anything, you know, from first glance in my hand that can defeat them, but after looking for about a minute, I actually came up on a strategy to not, <clears throat> to not only wipe out their board, but also save my ass. That is more skillful. Because you looked at your hand, you saw the problem that was set in front of you, and you proceed to actually devastate your opponent, or at least put them in a position where they have to be defensive. No burn deck has ever done this crap. The closest thing they've ever done was that stupid nurse um, that has 1700 attack, that stays on the field, and says anything that causes life gain becomes uh, life draining to you. And guess who plays it the most? Burn decks. No other deck will play this nurse because she is not designed for that crap. The only thing she can do is sit there, look like a complete nuisance, and to wait for not only you as the player who played her to start acting, activating cards like Upstart Goblin and stuff like that, or Poisoning the Old Man. But the simple fact, any card your opponent activates that would be a life gain for them is completely SOL. No, I don't believe burn decks are skillful. They are luck based and luck based only. despise them. If it's the one deck I do not want to ever face, it's a stupid burn deck. Any other decks I might have problems with, but I'd rather deal with them with the worst case scenario than ever having to deal with chain burn or anything of that nature. However, I do not mind burn cards. Like I got a cowboy or anything like that. But that's because it's more towards, you know, a, a late game scenario effect. Burn decks are designed from start to finish to burn your ass. And, ch and the trick stars are going to be a whole lot worse than chain burn could ever be. And I wouldn't be surprised if some nuisance decided to put chain burn in there. As I said, I'm trying to be civil. I'm trying to not cuss a lot, but... Believe me, there's a lot worse words I want to say, but hell and ass and everything like that is probably as far as it's going to go without me going in complete uh, blinding rage rant. So, I do apologize for anyone who's offended by language and everything like that, but you're probably offended by the English language as well, so there's not much to say on that. And believe me, there's a lot more uh, words that I could say to make a sailor blush and shame, but uh, yeah, that's for another conversation. The point I'm trying to make is this. Burn decks are garbage. They have always been garbage. Ever since the original chain burn came out and everything like that, it's been nothing but things that will irritate me to the most to the point I want to flip the table and just beat the living tar out of that person. I've not done it yet, but I've been close from time to time. The only time I have ever lucked out on that stupid deck and everything like that was against uh, Chain Burn versus against Six Samurais when I had Notoria Beast barking on and that stupid Notoria Table or Turtle on the field. I don't even know how I got Turtle in there. Um, I'm trying to remember what uh, Latios. Yeah, that's it. Notoria Latios. I don't even know how he got in my deck. I despised him for the simple fact that I re it required me to discard a spell card when spell cards are the most important things in Six Samurais. Uh, calm down, Nebula. You're about to order food, so you don't want to go on a rant on the waitress. <laughs> oh, that would be bad on my part. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is this. 
I understand burn decks are cheap to make. I understand that. But do you really got to give up your self-respect and humanity for this? Do, wouldn't you want to be skillful and try to figure out a way to beat your opponent instead of just saying, I'm going to set five backfields and hope for the best? I mean, there are other decks that do that as well, but they're, they're a bit more strategic. Bird decks have never been strategic. They've never been skillful or anything like that. They are nothing more than luck-based decks that irritates the living hell out of your opponent to the point of where they want to beat the living tar out of you. <clears throat> yes, I'm angry. I am angry at the simple fact that a simple comment, even though that I know it was a joke, has set me off for the past 14 hours and I finally you know calmed down enough where I want to do a video on it strangely enough I'm at Chick-fil-a so yeah I want to take my frustration and anger on chicken <sighs> now on the subject of trick stars because I have to keep remembering what they are because I want to call them trap tricks, but they are not trap tricks. Trick stars are one of those decks that should never have been made, but they decided to make it because they just like to irritate people. It's not, you know, bad enough that you've already aggravated the entire fan base of video games. You had to go and do this crap. Now, I can go on a rant and say what needs to be hit, what needs to be banned and everything like that, but I'm always reminded that within time um, comes power creep. So, I don't see trick stars being power creep anytime soon, but I don't see them being tier zero either. This is not tell that error. But, I do see them being in the meta because people like to be scumbags. And because of that, they like to irritate you. And I'm pretty sure there are some people who want to experiment with burn decks. Please note, when you do, you must face the consequences of your actions. <clears throat> Alright, so... Try to cool off. I'm gonna order my food and then we'll continue. But I have to say, Konami Japan, you have no idea what you're causing. From, we, we dealt with chain burn and y'all seemed to learn your lesson for the longest time and then you had to go and make this crap. <sighs> Granted, you did make uh, Zodiacs, Zodiacs, however you want to pronounce it, but. I was hoping that was a one-time thing. Uh, yes, I like to get uh, two uh, chick uh, chicken sandwiches. Is that? Okay. Uh, but no pickles or anything. But I want to turn one of them into a meal. Okay. So for the meal, I want a large soda, uh, Coca-Cola, just light on the ice. And, what is it? Um, the waffle fries. Yes, large. And I like to get the uh, milkshake. Uh, what is it? The uh, cookies and cream. Large. No. That should be it. Uh, no. Thank you. All right, sorry about that. I had to order food. Now, as I said earlier in my video here, I don't care about uh, burnt cards in terms of being by themselves. Okay, uh, there's no pickles on the English chicken tray.
How's y'all's day going? this out of the way. There is one other matter I wanted to discuss, but I want to continue on with the burn cars themselves. Burn cars are going to be something that we're always going to see in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's no if, ands, about it. It's going to happen. Um, but the difference between a burn card and a burn deck is how it's set up. Now, burn decks in general are not hard to make. You just have to make sure that you have some form of protection uh, from your opponents, either by battle, mostly by battle, or by card effects that could really screw you over, like Jinzo and stuff like that. Once you get to that part, it's pretty much simple as that. You choose every single burn card that you can think of, you slap them into a deck, and then you go from there. Now, I don't ever recall hearing that a burn, or chain burn, or anything like that has ever won a national world or anything like that but if they did I'm pretty sure we want to hear from them again that being said burn cards I have no problem with I only have a problem with them when they get to the point where they can create their own deck and they just start burning the living hell out of you burn decks are or burn cards are a necessity burn decks are not That being said, I generally don't like burn decks. Well, I think it's a bit more fair to say that I completely hate them. So. One thing about it, they have good walk. Generally not angry about decks. There are cars I hate as well, but I do have dislikes for decks, but burn decks will be the only deck I can think of that will have pure hatred for. I just want to take all the burn decks in the world, put them in one spot pour gasoline all over them. See that bong fire go. And sit there and roast marshmallows, hot dogs, and everything else on them. Because I think it would be ironic if I could do that. But that's more of a fantasy in mind and not really realistic. So we have to go with what's going on now. Not only that, but burn decks in general are hard to side for. It takes more skill to deal with a burn deck than it does for a burn deck to burn your opponent. I think I pretty much preach just enough to say. But, and if I'm repeating myself and everything, I'm sorry. But I'm still flaming at this whole notion that burn decks are skillful. But... thing I say about burn decks it's a simple fact that it's one form of hatred I think I can get away with and not be you know angered by other people as much because no one who's been in Yu-Gi-Oh for as long as I have have not had to deal with burn deck I can happily safely say that I've never had to resort into playing the burn deck at a tournament. I have played a burn deck just to see what 
what was going on. Now it's when Chain Burn first came out. And I was completely disgusted with it. The other thing I want to talk about the time I go off and everything like that was I hear a lot of people say that Code of the Duelist, the new next set has come out, or should already be out. that on the long terms of it.
all right cards. It has a couple of interesting arch types are coming out with the exception of Trick Stars. And Spellbook Knowledge looks like it's going to be a very interesting card. I generally don't care for Spellbooks, but this might be an exception to the rule considering that it can actually help Twin Witches and a couple other decks and folks as well. So I gotta give it at least a try. burned out, <laughs> strangely enough, from this rant, but I just want to say that <clears throat> burn decks are bad, um, go to the list, you should try to at least invest in small stuff, because bigger stuff will either get reprinted or it's just not is not going to help in the long run. We do have Spirit Warriors coming out in November, which is the or Magic Bullets, Six Samurais, and the uh, Weather Witch, I think they're called. I'm probably not remembering their names correctly, but um, they're either a Weather Witch, Weather Forecasters, or something of that nature. I just don't remember. But they look to be interesting, and Magical Bullets is definitely going to be one of those interesting decks to try out. So, without further ado, I do appreciate y'all for listening. And, if you like, dislike, doesn't matter to me. I don't get paid for this, so, y'all have fun. Later.